Hello everyone! In this video I am going to help you to solve 5 exercises specially recommend for students that are very new to AutoCAD. They are very simple, but during the tutorial I focus on drawing with precision, using several tools I consider very important to know from the beginning. Let's start with exercise 1. Before drawing, make sure you have the Object Snap turned on, as well as the icon at the left, the Object Snap Tracking or Auto Snap. Here I just need to use either the Command Line or Polyline. First I need to choose the layer where I want to draw. Lines, this one. Then I'm going to activate the command Polyline. I go to this endpoint, drag to the right and I click for the first point. Then I type 20, press enter. Then I go up vertically, type 30, press enter. And I continue until I finish all this figure. Then horizontally I type 30 and press enter. This is 30 again then 20 and when I'm going to finish I can click either in the start point or type CL to close the polyline. Because the lines in these exercises are only vertical and horizontal I can make it with the ortho mode on. I'm going to do the same process As you see, it's a bit faster this way. Exercise 2 Now I am going to use the command line. Go again to the end point and drag to the right. Click for the first point. First I type 40, then 25, after 20, 15, I can do very fast with the ortho mode as you see. For the second part, as it has a rectangular shape, I can use the command rectangle. I type the shortcut which is REC, press enter. I click on this endpoint and here I need to insert the lengths on the X and Y axis. First is the x-axis which is 25. Then I press tab and insert 60 for the y-axis. Press enter to finish. For the last section I do exactly the same as I did on the beginning. Just follow the lengths. Exercise 3. This time there are lines with a 25 degree angle to the x-axis. I am going to use the command polyline to draw this figure. And I start on this vertical line. The horizontal line here, I leave it to the end because it has an unknown length. I draw the following lines, 60, then 20, 20 again. Now, to draw the diagonal lines, first I'm going to turn off ortho mode. I can simply switch to polar mode. Then I type 50, press the button tab. The length is locked. Now I can specify the angle. Type 25 and press enter. After I do the same to the next line. First type 50, tab, then as I'm below the track line the angles count in a clockwise direction. This means I have to insert 25 instead of a negative distance. Press enter. Finally I just have to insert the remaining lines and for the last one, as I don't know the length, 
I can simply close to connect to the start point of this polyline. Exercise 4. So this exercise I have to draw it in more than one part. I'm going to use the command line, go to this endpoint, drag to the right again, and first insert the line of 100, then this one 60, then 20, 30, and then these last ones of 10 of length each. At the end, I can connect to this point. The object snap mode here is perpendicular. Press escape to finish. After, I will draw this square. With the pointer hovering this end point, I drag slowly to the right and when the label extension and the dash line appear, Type the distance showing here 20. Then I just draw the lines of the square. So you can easily finish this figure by yourself. Now I press enter to reactivate the previous command, which is the command line. This horizontal we are going to connect to the, the intersection here. For the last rectangle, we use the same process as the small square before. Hover the endpoint, drag right and type 25. Finally, draw these last lines. Now I want to show you an important tip. At the end, I can decide to merge these lines in a polyline to be easier to select the entire figure. However, polylines cannot have like what is happening here, branches in the intersections. Therefore, if I use the command join to transform this in a polyline, select everything, press enter, what I can see is more than one polyline here. For these situations, I can group the objects. I select them, I press the right button and click on group. So I can click anywhere on this figure and it selects as if it was a single object. Exercise 5. Here we have several oblique lines. Another way of drawing those is going to the track settings which we can find in this arrow. Here, on polar angle settings, I can add more angles to track. I want an angle of 40 degrees and I will add another of minus 40. Press enter. As you see, it automatically considers as 320. I click on OK to close this window. Now, let's draw this exercise. To draw the first line, don't forget the polar tracking turn on, I can see that the 40 degree angle is now tracked, so I just need to type the length 100. For the next line, it does the same but in the negative direction. Type 100 again. Then, just connect the last line of the triangle to the start point. For the small triangle, I drag to the right, type 30 and press enter. Then, I find the angle 40 degrees and type 20 for the length. Then, I can click in this intersection once I see this angle of 40 degrees in a clockwise direction. For the rectangle in the middle, I activate polyline. I can go to the top vertex of the triangle, move down and type 40 to place the start point. Right after, I insert a line of length 15 to the right 
Of course, I can also switch to the ortho mode. Here I draw a line of 30, then 5, and finally connect here. Then it remains a small triangle at the right. I can draw it normally, but I can use the command mirror, as this drawing is symmetric. Type MI, press enter. Select objects. Then I have to find the midpoint of the horizontal line here. Click. And now I am going to draw a vertical mirror line. As you see the triangle was placed symmetrically. Click and press enter. Ok, so you just reached the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and if you need extra help I can give you online private lessons. Send me an email for more information. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know what to do. Thank you and till the next tutorial.